While I was looking up information about the Asian diaspora coming to the new world, I found something very historical in the process between China and Puerto Rico. What I found was crazy. Check this out. So in 1837, there was a huge migration of Chinese immigrants to Cuba. During their time of living there, they established communities throughout Havana. Many of the men were voluntarily working in plantation fields and getting somewhat compensated. Among these fields, they worked with the African slaves. But they didn't like the subjugation and the violence that came with working in these fields. And in doing so, they denounced what was taking place. They weren't heard by the Cuban government, so they had a violent uprising, killing a lot of people in the process. A lot of them were caught with homicide charges and imprisoned. In Puerto Rico, there were some Chinese migrants working in the fields as well, but it wasn't as many. But the Puerto Rican government had a use for the Chinese prisoners in Cuba. So just about 400 prisoners were sent over to Puerto Rico to work. But they didn't work the fields. They were sent to work in construction. The Chinese prisoners were sent to Puerto Rico to build several highways. They were sent to work in several parts of the island. Some helped build the road that connects Rio Piedras to Cagua, but the majority worked the roads from Calle to Ponce. Some roads took about 14 to 40 years to complete. Several prisoners died in the harsh working conditions, but the ones who lived to see their work finished either stayed and started a new life in Puerto Rico or would go back to Cuba. If you were to go to Puerto Rico to take Highway 52 and 14, you would find yourself on one of the island's most scenic routes. Pictures or videos can only do so much justice, but I'm telling you, this is a road trip worth checking out. Needless to say, the history is there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really hope this doesn't turn into a political debate in the comment section. Then again, everything's political, so there's no winning. And until next time, y'all. Shishi.